Today's tutorial is about looking further at what you're recording and how to deliver the best audio. As we said in the other part of this tutorial, it doesn't take a lot of planning to be completely aware of what's required for the project. And it makes life so much easier. So, are the recordings in mono, stereo or surround? Generally, as a rule of thumb, record the dialogue with mono equipment. It gives a concentrated focus on the recording, whether you're using a lav mic or a boom mic. And while track sound effects or ambience, you could use stereo equipment or surround equipment, depending on the requirements for the final mix. The range of equipment available for recording is mind boggling. I've got a small set of equipment that I use when I'm capturing ideas for sound design. The gear is simple and effective in a wide range of recording situations. And I find the key is to help yourself. Find a small range of equipment that you can do what you want to do. Now, if you're recording separately to camera and recording unit, make sure that you're both locked, whether it's time of day or clock from the camera. It'll save a huge amount of resyncing work being done in the post facility, which is exceptionally costly. There's a piece of software called Pluralize, and it can help, though with mixed results, depending on the quality of the camera sound, versus the clean recorded audio. If you are both recording separately, you'll need to use either a clapper board or have somebody ident the shot and have them clap on camera. Now you have an audio ident and a sync point that you can sync your audio and your video in the edit. Now, make sure that you have the range on your radios. Pick up that distance. You don't want any breakups. Bud earphones or headphones. You'll not be able to hear low frequency hums and buzzes if you use Bud earphones. So try to use large diaphragm headphones for monitoring. It'll allow you to hear somewhat better such things as electrical hums and other low frequency noises on your recordings. So we've covered understanding what you're recording and why, choosing the best location for the best results. Join me again to understand the best practice for handing over your precious recordings to the editor. I'm Keith Alexander and you've been watching Adorama TV. Don't forget to subscribe to Adorama TV for more great videos. And tell us what you think. You can like, comment or share this video. And please come by the Adorama Learning Centre for more great advice and information.